Websites are exposed to a lot of threats. Without a web application firewall or other security measures, you're leaving your WordPress site open to the possibility of data loss and other serious repercussions. In this video, we'll break down what WAF is, how it works, and the different types available. Then we'll go over some ways you can set one up for WordPress. So with that said, let's get right to work. A WAF, AKA a Web Application Firewall, or WAF, whatever you prefer, uses rules to help protect your website against specific types of threats. That said, a firewall is just one part of a complete security strategy. The various types of WAFs use slightly different procedures to deter malicious traffic. However, to boil it down to the simplest possible terms, it works like so. Number one, a user attempts to access your site either by clicking on a link or typing a URL into their browser. This sends an HTTP request to your server. Number two, your WAF intercepts this request and analyzes it to determine if the user breaks any of your predetermined rules. Number three, if no rules are violated, the user's request is passed on to your server, which returns the content they requested. In the event that their IP address is blacklisted or their activity is otherwise suspicious, your WAF will block them. The primary advantage of a WAF is the ability to deploy new rules quickly. In most cases, modern firewalls use a combination of whitelisting and blacklisting, which is referred to as a hybrid model. Beyond the types of rules they use, WAFs also work at three different levels. Network level, network WAFs function at a local level and they usually involve custom hardware solutions, so they tend to be very expensive. However, they cause less of a lag for users. Host level, this type of WAF usually comes as a module or plugin installed on your server. It's a much cheaper approach than network level solutions, but takes up some of your server's resources. Cloud level. Cloud WAFs tend to work using a software as a service model. You usually pay for a subscription and in turn, get access to a solution you can quickly deploy through your DNS, AKA domain name system. With this approach, your service performance shouldn't suffer and the service provider usually takes care of updating rules for you. There are a lot of ways you can implement a WAF for your website without having to set up a hardware solution. Here are three methods you may want to consider. Number one, install and activate a WordPress security plugin. WordPress security plugins that offer WAF functionality fall under the category of host level solutions. In other words, they're software you set up on your server to intercept and filter your site's traffic. The downside to this approach is that it requires use of your server resources. We've explored the performance impact of plugins in the past, so we can say with certainty that this approach will slow your website. That said, this method is also relatively affordable and very easy to set up if you're lacking technical experience. Both WordFence Security and All-in-One WP Security and Firewall include beginner-friendly WAF solutions. WordFence, for example, enables you to blacklist connections using a highly customizable set of rules. All-in-One WP Security, on the other hand, includes both whitelisting and blacklisting functionality, so you can employ a hybrid approach. Number two, sign up for a third-party WAF solution. Third-party WAF services often integrate with your website through its DNS configuration, meaning they tend to fall under the category of a cloud-level solution. Cloudflare is an excellent example of this. If you use a Cloudflare premium plan, you not only gain access to a content delivery network, but also a built-in WAF. If you're using a WAF that operates under a software as a service model, chances are you're getting access to a turnkey solution. That means it takes care of setting up custom rules and keeps its own threat database to make sure it covers as many types of attacks as possible. Cloudflare in general also offers WordPress specific rules, which makes it a prime option. The downside to this approach is the price. Cloud level WAFs are an ongoing expense. For some, this means they're usually only worth it for websites that generate recurring income. Number three, choose a hosting provider that offers a WAF. Some web hosts go the extra mile and offer either network level WAFs built into their plans or third party solutions as extras. As a rule of thumb, you will pay a premium for this kind of service one way or another. Take Pagely for example. 
It's one of the top options for managed WordPress hosting, and it offers WAF protection for its users. Its plans, however, are not what you'd call budget friendly. Other hosts, such as Liquid Web, offer to integrate third party WAFs into your hosting plan as a monthly extra. If you're looking for a company that enables you to set up a WAF manually without it costing an arm and a leg, your best bets are virtual private servers or cloud hosting providers. Amazon Web Services, for example, enables you to deploy a WAF. However, it charges you depending on how many rules you deploy and the number of requests you receive. And there you go. That's your detailed breakdown of web application firewalls or WAFs or WAFs, whatever you want to call them. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching. and We'll catch you in the next one.